Okay, all you automotive designers out there, you're really going to love this one. Antonio Pantoja is the vice president of the Tech Center at Foravia Hella, and you've got this flat light technology that you want to talk about. What is it? That's right, John. I'm happy to have you here again at Tech Center of Foravia Hella. This is a sample that has been generating a lot of attention uh, from studio engineers to lighting engineers, purchasing, consumers, people that have seen this sample, as we have shown it at CES, has been asking a lot of questions about it. And the reason is it achieves many of the desired features that automobile enthusiasts and studios typically want to have in their vehicles. Okay, so uh, what is the technology though? When you say flat light, what do you mean? So we call this flat light because it's very thin and flat. If you take at the sample, so each of these is a segment. So in this particular sample, we have five of them. Now these segments, I'm gonna turn one on so you can see it. And so this is uh, uh, a mock-up tail lamp for yeah, a car. Yeah, this is a prototype, correct. So we have taken the technology and we have made a prototype to confirm that this is what we want to achieve. And I it love, is, you can do different colors. Exactly, so that's the first thing you know. You know. You're gonna notice two things in this sample immediately, and that's the first one is the homogeneity of the light. So you can see the light distribution is very, very good. There's no hot spots, and that's typically one of the most painful uh, areas when designing lights. You want it to look very homogeneous, and that's the purpose for this particular sample. So this is a problem with OLED lamping, right? That you get these hot spots and so different temperatures? So typically OLED will achieve that level of performance, but at a certain price. Now this one uses standard conventional LEDs. So this is your regular LED automotive graded, but achieving the same or similar performance that an OLED. Okay, so it does more than just as a turn signal or brake light. You can do a lot of things with this, right? That's correct, yeah. So, for instance, this sample was designed to showcase different scenarios. Um, right now I'm showing you tail. Um, I can show you as well amber for a turn indicator. And in this particular sequence, actually, you can see it animated and actually going from amber to red. So each of the segments is powered by six red LEDs and six amber LEDs. So within the same segment. So you can, each of the segments, you can turn it on and have it red, have it amber in this particular example. Mm -hmm. But it's not, only, it's not only limited to that, you can also go to white if, and I'm sure you're gonna be asking me questions about that. Yeah. But yes. And you say you could do other colors, blue, green, or anything you like could do that blue, too? Of course, yeah. So there's no, there's no specific limitation to that. Of course, it is, the sample is not only a gimmick, it actually meets legal requirements. So that's another very interesting topic. Typically very good appearance, very smooth and homogeneous appearance is done in tail functions. It's very difficult to achieve that for stop because it requires a lot more intensity. Amber is the same case, difficult. However, this sample achieves the three states, so tail, stop, and turn, all legal using this technology. Now, you talk about different colors, you could do different colors, uh, but that would not be legal because those colors are not legal. If they were, then yes, it will be legal as well. Got it, got it. So it looks like you could do different animations with this too. We could, we could, yeah. Uh, for example, you're seeing one right there. So in the off state, the sample is white. You can see it and it start to uh, uh, power on each of the segments from amber all the way to red. Um, you can also do like a sequential turn indicator, uh, but also you can use a case where you have this sort of charge state. So if, if it's an electric car, you plug in, this would be the indicator of the state of charge of the exactly. battery. Exactly, 
Exactly. That's pretty good. Yeah, you can have different configurations as Instead well. Instead of so. having to add other lights, like sometimes you'll see electric cars Definitely. with lights in the dashboard yeah. or by the charge point or something, you're saying just, just build it right into the tail lamp. Yeah, give it more functionality, right? Hmm. What else could you do in terms of animation? I mean, uh, maybe not just with a, uh, a tail lamp, but uh, sounds like you could do just about anything. It, yeah, it has a lot of opportunities. Um, and I'm going to be describing that to you since you're asking about it with digital flat light. But first, in order to move into digital flat light, um, one thing that drives a lot of attention on this sample, which is the standard flat light technology, is that it's five millimeters thick. So on the digital flat light, you'll be able to see that. And so you've got a sample here. Exactly. And and five millimeter, that's super thin. It's I mean, super thin. So correct. right now, if you're using a bulb, right, it, it's got to be what? Much more than yeah, that. Yeah, at least 40, 40 millimeters, 50 millimeters. So if you want to, if you want to achieve this to a uh, reflector technology or other type of technology, you at least will require this much space, mm -hmm. about 40 to 50. This one, and I'll show you requires this much space. And, and maybe we can turn this whole thing sideways yeah, so you can and, and see, you there's, see there's, just there's how thin this is. Nothing behind. The LEDs are in couple from the top, so actually this is the space you need. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're going to need a housing and a lens, an outer lens to, to protect it. But the PCB is running on top, so there's the six LEDs, red six LEDs, mm -hmm. and amber LEDs are all in here using a standard FR4 PCB. But, and this is why I said, you know, designers are going to love this because they design these beautiful looking cars with lamps and all that. And then, you know, they have to productionize it and the engineers will come to them and say, oh, you got to move this out a few exactly. mils. And they hate having to do that totally. because it destroys the proportions of what they've had. With this being so thin, no problem. I mean, yeah. or it gives them a lot more design flexibility. It gives a lot of flexibility indeed. Um, the sample that we're showing you here was designed in this shape for demonstrating purposes, but not necessarily needs to be like that. So you can go wider, and because the LEDs are in couple from the top, you can have a very long piece. You can have one meter long piece in the middle of the car. Right across the entire right back Right across, end. yeah. Right. Yeah. Or you can have it with a very tall piece as well. Um, up to about 120 millimeters, so half of a uh, piece of paper. Mm -hmm. That's if you uncouple them from the top. Now, you can also do from the top and from the bottom. If you do that, then you can go again, 200, 240 millimeters. So you have a lot of possibilities here, not necessarily need to have, you don't necessarily need to have an example like this where there's five segments. You can have a one big long segment. You can have a very one tall segment. You can have the combination of both. So a lot of possibilities. And if you add digitalization, in these cases, the same technology, but on top of it, it has the LCD. In this case, the LCD is segmented into 44 spaces. And each of those 44, you can turn on or off. By doing so, not only you have all this dimension possibilities, but also you have the possibility of communication, having on and off 44 times within a segment. And 44 is the number that we choose, but you could have a different number. So you could put messages on your car. You could, yeah, absolutely. Yes, you could communicate a welcome scenario, which is no longer only limited to colors, which has been the standard. Now you can also communicate it with words. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And you also said earlier you can do white light with this? We could, we could, that's correct. And I'll give you a little secret there. You are going to see both technologies very soon. Specific to flat light, you're going to see it on the road 2024. And for front, using flat light, you will see it as well very soon. And that's not for the headlamp, though. That's for the daytime running lights? Correct. This, is, this technology is developed for signal function lights. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, tail, stop, turn, DRLs. Very interesting. And uh, so having DRLs and, and the lighting uh, element is, is only five mils thick, that's, that's like Again, unbelievable. Yeah. 
Yeah, I see that number got stuck on your mind. And yes. it's true because yes. it's, it's very, um, it's a great accomplishment from our engineering department to mm -hmm. be able to have this very compact, slim system which provides flexibility, very thin packaging space, and with that there's mass, there's always a mass discussion, weight, right? There's power consumption. So talk about power consumption because especially as we get into electric cars yes. or, or even with all the other uh, yeah. electronic technology going into even ICE cars, right. power consumption is a big problem. Definitely, definitely. We always talk about that when we have design review meetings. Um, well, one what? That's all you need. Yeah. One what for tail function? One watt. One watt. Yeah. So it's a it's a great um, reduction from what you again will be using if you were to use a standard conventional technology. One watt is very impressive. Ten watts for stop function. Also very good. Very efficient. Mm -hmm. So you're saying 2024? This technology is going to be 2024, on a car. 2024. Yes. Um, I know you can't tell me who the customer is, but can you tell me what segment of the market this is going to show up in? Um, I would like to tell you Okay. That. Yes. <laughs> but then you'd have to kill me. Okay, I understand. You probably will need to stay here <laughs> right. and then become a, for be a hella employee. <laughs> there you go. Well, Antonio, this is fascinating technology. Like I said, it gives the design engineers so much flexibility. The, the reduction in mass and power consumption also adds to the story, but thanks for showing us this. Absolutely, pleasure having you here again. Well, good, thank you. Yeah.